just as I was about to shoot this bit the other day, I watched uh, Steve Summers' video where he was doing some trepanning and uh, broke his bit. So, uh, got me a little gun shy, but I'm gonna try it here anyway. I think it's the best way to get rid of this excess material off this plate. So, got my tool bit ground up. I'm gonna go nice and slow because it's ringing like crazy. It's not well supported and it's real thin, so. Let's go slow and hope for the best. See a line, I know it's getting disaster averted. I'm tickled with how that turned out. Didn't break my bit and I got the piece turned off and then got a nice finish on it. So it had to go real slow and uh, real light feed rate. An extra three. Right on. Well, there it is, all 
all finished up except for the keyway. Just got four of these bolts snug to make the gear pull up with the face. And I indicated that off the board and got it there. It looks pretty good. Less than a thousand front out on all those parts. So the back gear, the front gear, uh, both of those were bored hard. Um, the back gear is drilled and tapped, and the front gear is drilled all the way through. So the pinch with the hub that it's all mounted on, and everything is all uh, like a thousand fit, so it just barely will move on it. Good. So, all I got to do now is broke the keyway in that, and this thing will be done. Again, I'm happy with the way that thing's running. Everything's all nice and true. So the last bit to do on this uh, hub deal that I've made is to broach out the keyway in it. it uses a 3 16 key to drive the camshaft. So I need to get that cut in here and I looked and it turns out I don't have a 3 16 broach much less one for a two and three eighths size hub. So I could cut that pretty easy if I had the brooch, but I don't have the brooch. So we're double boost, poor man's broaching today. I got the boring bar in here and ground up a 3 16 tool bit, uh, just hand ground, put just a few degrees relief on both sides. And I'm just gonna stroke it through here with the carriage and uh, get a keyway chewed out in this thing. I got the lathe locked to hold it where it can't rotate and just feeding about 10 thou at a time actually five I'll uh, get this thing thrown in the heat treat oven and harden it up a little bit so it'll stay nice and true and uh, this job's done. Well there it is all heat treated up 45 Rockwell so it won't be super soft and get all distorted. Still free to move but no play so 
no play between the gears either. Can't rock them. It's good to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed getting to see me make this piece. Uh, and to those of you that contributed to the Bailey Vet Relief Fund, that's greatly appreciated for sure. Uh, you know, he means a lot to me, and I'm glad that he's getting better. And I'm to keep a better eye on him, keep him from wandering off and getting into trouble when I'm not around. So his days of roaming may be over. The uh, neighbor's hood's not what it used to be. But uh, this is ready to go, and it was certainly a challenging job to make. I would say if you ever need to do any uh, hard tapping, I got this uh, XO5 flute tap, and this was the trick. Uh, I broke several regular th uh, three foot taps trying to tap this of various different brands and types and uh, this one here uh, went through it pretty easy actually so it was pretty slick I'd have to say but it could have been because I had most of the holes already started anyway before I got to using this one but uh, for finishing them out for sure it worked good but Anytime you're messing with stuff, it's 50 plus Rockwell. It's not good time tapping. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.